Yeah. Oh, oh Almar. Okay, we're gonna see Almar. Oh, Pretty good. So, Pope, is he's more known for his Charizard or for which? Is he? I know he's a good Pokemon trainer, but like you know, every Pokemon trainer have their have their one. Yeah, you know, their signature Pokemon. signature Pokemon. Is he mostly known for his Charizard player? Or is he most known for his? Uh, because those Charizard has just done some stuff really well. I don't know. It seems to me, Puppe, what I like about his play so much is that he's able to play neutral so well and then get a lot of kill conversions on yeah. every single po He uses every single Pokemon to their max capabilities. Yeah. I think that's what I like most about him. And it's just speaking of that one, look at that yeah. 66%. Trying to get something down. And that's the signature spot touch cancel <laughs> that all the Olimars and Alps are known for. So you get, there you go, Rich Brown doing racking up the damage right now with the Al. Not much alpha representation, so it's pretty good to see. I mean, it's not too much Ol uh, Olimar representation. Here in Soka, we have a couple. We have, uh, we have a, oh, get the Epsilon there. And the reason that Charizard, just in case you didn't know, Charizard was unable to take any, uh, he was trying to take, get that uh, red Pikmin off of him, yeah, okay. but it's fire. Remember, it's immune to fire. Oh, yeah, so he doesn't really can get off. Unable to find anything. And right now, uh, Rich Brown doing a really good did a really good job. But speaking of that, Puppe fighting back immediately. He got spiked down, but he rather would just care less. And that Purple Pikmin's really hammering him really hard, but switching over immediately to the Ivysaur just so he can control the stage. Dash for it. That, that blue Pikmin just got eviscerated really by that out there. It is very unfortunate that, <laughs> that the Razor Leaf is also only the all my, well, I don't know how this matchup plays out, by the way. Is this like a even, is this like a, who, who usually wins this matchup? All of them are the Pokemon here. You see Rich Brown, he'd be teabagging yeah. him yeah, right yeah. in the middle of there, but there we go, but here's some is, Yeah, he, he has to show him what's up. <laughs> he has to show, like, keep the disrespect alive. So that's old school stuff, <laughs> old school? Uh, he's trying to get something down. He Ooh, went, oh. Okay, I like, oh, I like the recovery. Could, could was, yeah, I, I like the recovery, but that smash was really, mm -hmm. I think but I love it. Once you see them at 0%, you know exactly that Puppe is going to be switching right back over. What Rich Brown, I really want to see from him, he needs to get that up smash at 0 and quickly yeah. follow up with that damage. Unable to find it. It could be the fact that Puppe is he's playing so well around this. Yeah, and he's playing square a smaller target on mm -hmm. it too as well. It's still a lot, and here comes the conversion. Look at this up air string. Down. This keeps trying to force, force this advantage when he's trying to land. He's trying to land with an attack. Oh, he almost had that shot. Oh, I think he went for the down B going for the super armor, but I think he could caught him with the up smash. Okay, Taking game number one. Game number one. That was a real one. That was, that was a rough game. <laughs> I mean, that's the power that Puppe has. It's like this new school coming in, they're like, they're very good. Like yeah. all these new players, this new blood, always doing so well. And this isn't the first time Puppe, this isn't the first time he's gone against Olimar as well. Yeah. So Puppe's got definitely some matchup experience and do know that Puppe has been competing for quite a bit on the big stages. So MSM should be nothing for him. Yeah. So here you go, game number. Well, like see, uh, Richmond was forced every time Puppet had him above him. He kept trying to force his way downwards with an attack instead of just trying to like get out disadvantage. There we go. This time he's able to control the match a little bit more. That was an opportunity right there. That should have been an up smash instead of that oh, jab. Was that down? Was that, that was down down uh, uh, what, what did he hit up? Dude? Down tilt. Down down tilt up. Yeah. And he should be able to. Re no, he, he should be able oh, to recover. Dude, because but Puppe, oh, wow. yeah, he's got something else to say about that one. Look at that spike. Remember, Olimar's recovery is quite linear, so you got to be careful. Oh, look at these jabs coming in yeah. from Rich Brown. Yeah. Let me show you something, young boy. <laughs> he's got something else coming in right now. Oh, he misses the F smash as well. He's got to be really careful. Rolling away from it. He's able to get away with it just in time, and he's got the yellow pigment. That's the runaway F smash that Olimar is so famous for. But he's holding it down once more, 125. Yeah, he, he should try to like fish more for the red. Oh, good up smash. <laughs> that was a really good up smash. Uh, he's able to catch it out. I mean, that's what Olimar's known for is his up smash. But look at this conversion come in from Pape doing so much work. And the Razor Leaf catching it out. Oh, look I think he slipped off stage when he went. He was trying to go off stage and he got caught by that. Beat. Good stuff. Recovered from the ledge. Mm -hmm. Great job by Rich yeah. Brown. You, uh, saw, you keep, saw. Yeah, he's keep trying to let. Uh, Great job using the whistle armor in order to get away from it. The Nair catching him out once again. And look at this. Ooh, oh, no way. He, he's a ball, yeah. Uh -huh. My goodness. That well, if he was a little bit more damage, he might have got a little. Mm -hmm. might have been a little ooh, okay. He fell out. 
Oh, so unfortunate. A B. He's able to do so fortunate. much from it. Rich Brown really struggling. Up A. Ooh, that, those nerfs hurt a little bit, don't it? Not as positive as much. And he's oh. able to use the whistle armor to nope. get himself out of it. Great call back. grab. I just want to figure that the stuck. He has an opportunity. Mm -hmm. He's got a blue one. He needs to pull out a different one. Here goes. Get purple oh, one on he has deck. A purple one. Oh, oh, he has a purple one right here. Oh, oh, he had. I think we should have that one back. He had the punish. He could have had an up smash. Oh, that was a up. great reversal, okay, but. Smack. He's able to oh, get away with right it. Into the grab. You know he. You, you know that Rich Brown wanted that grab with that blue yeah. Pikmin. He needs to watch out for this F tilt back air and up smash. Mm -hmm. You look at that Nair, he's trying to use the whistle to get himself out of it, but the Nair actually was able to beat it out. Oh. Ooh! Survive. Oh, it. no, yeah. very unfortunate. Puppet will take game number two of Rich Round. Playing very well in the last stock there. Directed a lot of damage from the offstage and 